But, my friends, there's actually been a new cinematic that just released. Um, this is the Anduin Sylvanas epilogue in-game cutscene, which I definitely want to check this out. See what we got going on. Why are you here, Anduin? Your kingdom uh, and your friends the are epilogue your return. of the Sylvanas my novel. Friends, the ones I almost killed. They believe my hands are clean. But they don't feel clean. It is perilous to confuse what you are made to do with what you choose to do. How can I not when it all blurs together? It was so horrific and exhilarating. And it sickens me to think that satisfaction may have been mine. Ah, so that's why you've come. You fear you might not be who you thought you were. I'm starting to wonder if I ever knew. For the first time in my life, I'm afraid that if I call on the light, it won't answer. If I have no trust in myself, how can I expect my kingdom to trust me? To put their faith in me when mine has faltered? Must you bear that weight? A king does not have a choice. No choice? I thought you believed in free will. <laughs> I need time to think about many things. And one. I have faced who I was and accepted what I've done. Now, the work begins. Yes, it does. Farewell, Sylvanas Windrunner. Oh, so he's not staying. Good. Until our paths cross again. Farewell, little lion. Oh. Oh, that was great. That was great. It's small, but it's cute, and it's good, and it's... I like that it, it puts um, an even better conclusion to the already great Sylvanas novel, the epilogue that's in that. Uh, which I guess spoilers if you haven't I why are you watching this if you this spoilers <laughs> just all around anyways thank you guys for watching my reaction to the Anduin Sylvanas epilogue in-game cutscene uh, I love I love what they did with Sylvanas I really truly do uh, and I know a lot of people weren't a huge into her this expansion but I thought she was awesome I thought all of her motivation made sense uh, and this, to me, is like the best possible conclusion we could have gotten for her story, where she's not dead and she's also not just leading the Forsaken again. This, to me, is exactly the penance that she needed to pay um, for who knows how long, right? But Anduin seems to think that their paths will cross again. And I love that this is setting up something for potentially Anduin's fall. Anyways, thanks for watching. Never give up. Never surrender. Bye, everyone.